My name is Sakura, 27 years old, working at a company. This is my husband, Makoto Shindo. He looks like a fancy young man, but up until a few years ago, today I want to talk about our meeting and all the events that led to my marriage with a person that was originally homeless. Before I start, I need to talk about my family. It was a four-person family with Rina, my younger sister, by three years. However, Rina was the favorite of the family. Since I was little, I was not so cute and could not make cute facial expressions and was not liked by my parents. My parents are pretty vain, so they wanted their beloved daughter, meaning the only younger sister, to marry a talented and excellent groom. The target of their plan was my now husband, who was famous around the neighborhood for being a child prodigy. He wasn't trying to show off or anything, but he was in a different league with everybody with both academics and sports. He had the qualities that my parents loved the most, which were money and family background, since his father had a high-ranking role at a large corporation. My parents were ruthless and determined to carry out their plan, so they did anything they can to get close with the Shindo family. They kept trying to recommend my younger sister to them, but the father is used to dealing with greedy people like my parents, so all their flattery or gifts never fruited into anything. But apparently, the fact that someone was trying to arrange a marriage with their son, who is still in their early teens, was a huge red flag. Of course, they thought that, in the end, they weren't able to receive any good response from the Shindo family, and when Makoto moved out to attend a boarding school, they gave up on the plan. They started to look for another target. During that time, I had my high school entrance exams, but my parents were too busy looking for a husband for my younger sister to even notice. They didn't even care about whether or not I passed. I couldn't stand that at home, so I moved out when I graduated from high school. I graduated college and I'm living alone, working at a normal company. One day, I got a message from my family for the first time in a while. It's been a while, Sakura. It's been three years. What do you want? You're so unpleasant. I just reached out since I thought I should let you know. I'm going to get married! Oh. That's the reason. Congrats. But weren't you still a senior in college? I'm going to be a household wife when I graduate. You're not going to work? Don't put me and you on the same level. I was born to be a beautiful bride. Well, I guess people's priorities are different. You're not cute at all. Why can't you just be happy for your sister? I'm happy for her. Really? We're planning the wedding, but you don't need to come. Is it going to be super small for close family only? Of course not! My fiancé's dad is a higher-up in a large bank. My fiancé is also focused for his potential. There's going to be a lot of co-workers and his father's friends, so it'll be around 300 people. And it's okay for your own sister to not be there? Everyone that'll be coming will be rich and have a social status. I don't want people to know that someone as unfriendly as you is the sister. I don't want you looking for men there either. Oh, okay. So I won't be going then. Yep. Oh, but I still want wedding money from you though. Aren't you going to marry a rich person? You can't never have enough money. Please just follow common sense. I honestly didn't want these people to question my common sense, but it'll get bothersome if I don't do as they say. So I just sent them the minimal amount of money and didn't go to the wedding. I wonder if they're in the middle of the after party right about now. It's not like I was disappointed in not being able to attend, but I felt like they were showing off to the whole world the difference in treatment between us. I was feeling a little uneasy about this and taking an evening stroll. Whoa, a person? Are you okay? I hurried and called an ambulance. He looked like a homeless person, but I think I've seen his face before. When he finally woke up in the hospital, I finally remembered him. Can it be? Shindukun? Usujima san? The homeless person actually ended up being the person my parents kept on bothering to become my sister's husband. W w what is happening? That night I ended up just giving him my number and going home. Usujima san, thank you for yesterday. I was so surprised. I thought someone was unconscious, but it ended up being Shindukun. I was just lost in my thoughts and ended up forgetting to eat. Before I knew it, I was knocked out. <laughs> That's not something to laugh about. Rumor has it that you started your own company after graduating from college. Oh, that. Yeah, it went under. What? 
Yeah, and then I couldn't even pay rent, so I was evicted. So now... I'm homeless! <laughs> I can't believe it. He was top-notch in both academics and athletics, but how did someone like that end up on the streets? How did someone like Shindo-kun end up... I'm not that big of a deal. Everyone around me kept boosting my ego by calling me a prodigy. When I started working, there were plenty of people smarter and more proactive than me. One of those people was cunning, and ended up deceiving me. I was broke before I knew it. I caused so many people trouble and was so sorry for it. You're not going to live at home with your parents. No, I won't. This is my responsibility and my life choices. I want to open up my own path for the future, and not rely on them. That's the Shindu-kun I know. I guess you haven't changed at all then. Really? I feel like you haven't changed at all either. You remembered me? Of course I do. You're from the family that kept trying to arrange a marriage when I was still in middle school. Yeah, I apologize for that. I thought from back then that you were a person with strong principles. You would never be able to be a bystander when someone was in trouble. I'm a little embarred. I think that's a good trait. But I guess from your parents' point of view, some homeless person like me who has no money or status would be out of the question. <laughs> what are you going to do now? I've been thinking of a few things. First, I need to pay my medical bills once I get out of here. So I'll find a job. And then I'll look for a place to live. There's a lot of inconveniences if I don't have an address. Then, do you want to come live with me? Huh? I don't know why I said that at the time, but I was just so happy that he remembered me. You might think, that's not a good enough reason to let someone live with you. But I just had a feeling this time that this was something I had to do. Um, what do you mean? Um, yeah. You know, like, you're gonna need a lot of money to find a place and move in. I thought we could be roommates, so that would be easier for you. And you're just going to let a man live and rent a part of your place? I'm sorry. What am I saying? But I just thought that this would be better. Thank you. When I became homeless, all my friends gave up on me. When I was the CEO, they would flatter me, but they're all gone now. I didn't even think there would be anyone who would rent out their place to someone like me. The rent will have to be paid later. Will you let me live with you to fulfill my dreams? Of course! I was the one who brought it up! You can tell me as soon as you don't feel comfortable, okay? So then, this is how our strange roommate agreement started. Although he was homeless, he still had his passion and worked every day to get one step closer to his dreams. During the day, he would work at a construction site to earn living expenses, and at night he would always be thinking or reading up on something. It didn't take long for me to start wanting to support him in his journey. Right now, I don't have much to offer you, Sakura, and I've been causing you trouble. But when I get back on my feet, then I'll ask you out once again. I found out that he had feelings for me, and I was very happy about it. But around that time, I was contacted by my family, who I had thought had no interest in me. I wonder where they found out. Hey you! Is it true you were walking with Shindo the other day? Where did you find that out? No honorifics. Who cares about that? I heard he started his own company after college, but it went under and he's broke, right? <laughs> I guess he wasn't a prodigy after all. Don't talk bad about him. Wait, what? What? Are you dating him? So what if I am? You have nothing to do with us. <laughs> Rumor has it that he's homeless. Your boyfriend is homeless. <laughs> he's living with me, so he's not homeless now. That means he's just a parasite. I'm so glad I didn't choose him. Don't you think so, Mom? I agree. Going out with a homeless man? You're an embarrassment to our family. I don't expect you to understand. Just leave me alone. I didn't think they would accept it, but I didn't realize to this extent. After that, I married him, but I didn't tell my family about it. Hey, hey! Is it true that you ended up marrying Shindo? Where do you get all this info from? I bet you're still living in that small studio apartment, right? We moved. What? You had enough money to move? Yeah, to move. I'll come by sometime. No, you don't have to. You're just embarrassed of your super small house, right? By the way, we already bought a house. We're in an apartment. Looking forward to it. You don't have to come. Wait, on second thought, 
What? Why don't you come over once? All right. Don't worry, the men we both found are on completely different levels. I won't make fun of you for how small your house is. You already are. I actually don't want to see my parents nor sister, but I couldn't forgive them for making fun of me for the past three years. I wanted them to be shocked. I sent her my address and waited for my sister's arrival. Hey, where's your apartment complex? It'll come up when you search for it, right? There's only large buildings here. Yeah, it's the one called Moni Robo Heights. Huh? Yes, I do see Moni Robo Heights, but it looks super expensive and someplace you definitely can't afford. That's the place. We're living on the top floor. The top floor? How did the homeless... After that, he saved a little bit of money and started another company. This time, he won't be deceived. That company is doing well now and we're living here. You have got to be kidding me! So now you're the wife of a CEO? Well, yeah, I guess. I can't forgive you! Huh? It's not fair that you're doing better than me! I put in all this effort to marry a rich person! Why do I have to be the wife of a normal banker and you get to be married to a CEO? It doesn't matter to us who we are married to, right? It matters a lot! For a woman, that's all that matters. You robbed him. I was the first one to go after Shindo-san. Give him back. Whoa, whoa, you were making so much fun of him before. That doesn't matter. If you don't, I'll just keep yelling in front of your place. We have good security here, so you'll be taken away immediately. Who cares? You bought a house and are doing well for yourself, right? There's no way it's going well. He's so dumb and can't work. He's just riding off his parents' status. Oh. That father may be sent off to a subsidiary soon. So I don't know what'll happen to my husband if that happens. So you were trying to come over to feel relieved by looking at me, who you think is ranked lower than you, right? You came all this way. Why don't you come up? It's okay, I won't make fun of you about being... Stop kidding around! Leave Shindo-san and go somewhere! You don't have to tell me. We are leaving soon anyways. We're planning on moving overseas for his work. Overseas? He always wanted to, so we tried living in a lavishing apartment, but we ended up deciding that we don't need anything too big. We were always planning on buying a small house when we get there. I'm going to! Do as you please. Of course, we won't be taking care of you, and you won't be seeing him either. This is not right! I'm going to sue you! After that, my sister tried to convince our mother to sue me, but of course that can't be done. She was so upset and couldn't think straight anymore. The husband, who was abandoned by his parents and was basically used as an ATM, ended up asking for a divorce. Our parents kept on trying to stop it, but my sister ended up signing the divorce papers and it was settled. The newly built house was put up for sale and the remaining mortgage was split between the two. Our family ended up carrying close to 1 million yen in debt. My mother, who was convinced that her future was secure, had her plans ruined and became unstable. My father couldn't handle it and left. Since our breadwinner of the house was gone, my mother and sister had been taking on more debt to cover their living expenses. It'll only be a matter of time before they have to sell the parent's house. I, on the other hand, bought a small house on the seaside with my husband overseas and are living happily with the two of us. I wish to start a lovely family with him.